press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. In the last video about Gradle, we saw what is Gradle and how we can use the build.gradle to orchestrate our builds. Now let's see how to create a custom plugin and how we can use this plugin inside the build.gradle and how we can control that or how we can use it inside Gradle. I have the same file which we had used last time. It's called the Gradle example. I had just created it for just showing the Gradle build.gradle. Let me check what happens if I run this particular file. I am just going to say Gradle W. Gradle W is going to do a Maven clean kind of task. And since we didn't mention any task, it'll just run the default once. So if you see, it has just run the default one saying hello YouTube test message. So this is because we had some task called uh, tech primers and test. Both these are running. That is why we got that particular message. If you want to run, sorry, if you want to run a particular task, for example, let's say if you want to do a build task. So Gradle W build is coming from the Java plugin, which we had. So that is going to run lots of other tasks like compile Java, process resource, classes and all these kind of tasks. So these are different tasks which are defined in the plugin, in the Java plugin. That is why whenever we added that build task, it came up with other tasks. So now we are going to see how to create a custom plugin. Let's try creating the plugin in the same class. Since this is all uh, running in the JVM, so this is groovy, right? You can write Java classes as well. So I'm just going to do a creation of a simple class. Let's call it YouTube plugin. In order to use a plugin, we need to implement the plugin interface. So plugin is a default interface provided inside Gradle and the plugin which we are going to add is the project. So the model is project and for this particular project we are going to create a plugin so we need to implement the apply method which comes by default since we added a project this is going to be the project so if we don't need to have the java code you can remove this if you are comfortable with groovy but if you want to see the java kind of syntax then you can use this i'm just going to name this as project for easy usage so now we have control over this particular plugin here now we will be able to do a apply plugin. We can just say apply plugin and then YouTube plugin. See that we are able to access this plugin directly and this plugin will be used now. In order to use this plugin, we can inject a task into this particular project. So we have the project here. So right now if you do a apply, so whenever we do an apply, nothing happens it, there, there is nothing right it's it's like literally empty so this particular plugin is injected into this particular class when it loads however let's try to register a task what we can do is we can do a project dot task and we can provide a task to it let's see what task we can give right so it's a youtube plugin let's create a task called play so this particular task is now plugged into the youtube plugin and we can use this task from this particular project so we can literally override it like how we did it here so in order to pass the closure we can directly do this we can do a do last and then pass that particular closure i'm just going to say let's say we want to print only the playing video option let's say i'm just saying playing youtube video now let's try running this particular in the terminal. I'm just going to use the plugin called YouTube plugin and I'm hitting the play option. Once I do the play option, yep, we can see that we are able to play the YouTube video. So how can we register a task to a project using the plugin is using the plugin. Since we have implemented the plugin interface, we get the access to the project directly here. We can access the project name and stuff like that from here directly and you can assign the name and stuff here so we can also plug the task to the plugin so for example play is a plugin task and we have overridden the do last to print something there are similar uh, functions like do first do last 
let's check what is what are all there right if i go to do last there are lots of uh, do first and see there is a option called do first get path these are all fine get state these are internal has property property there are so many other functions which we are which we can see here so this is nothing but the task java class so you can literally see what are the different tasks which you can use you can do a depends on and stuff like that you can have multiple tasks registered so this is one task you can have another task called uh, project dot task uh, let's say um, pause and we can do a do last again and we can say pause the video so this is a different task so that is one separate task this is one separate task we can now override these tasks so we have created tasks inside the plugin we can override these tasks here see this right once i said pl intellij is suggesting that there is already a task called play and you can override it so i am just going to say println this is from the build cradle or project we can say this is from the project right because we have overridden this now let's try running this particular play task so what will happen will it display this is from the build or will it display this the play option is getting printed here but the option which is present inside the plugin is in the last so that is what we did here we said do last that is why the statements which are inside the do last will be executed in the end after the play task is executed so this is from build gradle project came from the main build.gradle or from the project but whatever is mentioned inside the plugin was displayed in the last because we have mentioned do last if you mention do first if you do a do first this will be printed first so if you want to perform a particular task before running anything in the project you can control that from this particular plugin so see here the printed first is printed and then the playing youtube is printed here so we can control the data as well from the plugin so how do we control the data so right now we don't have any data which is pushed right we are just overriding it and then um, making a way around and then we are performing something how do we pass data in order to pass the data we use the option called plugin extensions gradle provides something called plugin extensions which we can use inside the plugin we can just say project dot extensions from the extensions we can create extension so we have an option called create we need to provide a name to an extension let's say features we can provide an option called features and we need to pass the class for that particular extension so since this is a youtube extension i am just going to say youtube plugin extension and we need to create this particular class let's create this class here and we can provide some values inside these extensions we can just say feature name or if we need to use groovy we can just say def so there is something called feature name so what is this feature name so feature name is like a variable which we can assign some values to so we have created this particular feature now let's introduce this variable name here we can just call it as an extension and this extension can be controlled inside this do first and do last we can do a do first extension dot feature name directly we can do a print ln here we can do the extension feature extension dot feature name so this is how you can print it directly in the plugin here let's run this and see
see this right now there is nothing here because we have not assigned any feature name isn't it so how can we assign the feature name the feature name can be now assigned from the project we can assign the feature name here so in order to access this particular feature we have created this option called as features so since we created the extension with the name called features we can use this features dot and then we can access it directly so we can just say features dot feature name and we can assign some values here what is the feature name this is going to be play the feature name is going to be play that's why we are assigning it as play let's run this again from the command prompt here see this now the extension feature name is printed as play so whatever we have passed from the project can be now accessed from the plugin using the plugin extensions if you have multiple values to be passed then you can have multiple values as well so let's say plugin feature name we have provided here now let's add something like length video length right length of the video or uh, tags let's imagine the youtube video has length and tags which are newly added you can do this as well or you can use the closure option we can do tags equal to uh, tag primers and uh, length of the video as let's say 20 minute we can do this and we can even print this option here let's run this and see if it is getting printed yep play tech primers in 20 minutes is getting printed instead of doing this we can use this option let me remove these and let's run it see this even though we have not used the features dot feature name we can provide it something like this so groovy converts that automatically to that particular extension format where it knows that features is the name of the extension and it maps that to the corresponding model here and you can directly use the key value pair in such a way so this is why you can see dependencies are also defined something like this same way with repositories and other options so this is an easy way of uh, denoting stuff inside groovy that is why gradle is very easy when you want to modify stuff if you see maven maven is slightly difficult because it is xml oriented if you had known maven then you might feel this is uh, confusing however if you know groovy better then it is easy for us to write gradle plugins rather than uh, doing or working around with profiles and goals inside maven so if you can directly go and create a plugin in gradle and then you can use that plugin in all the projects rather than having a huge pom.xml in every project inside maven this is how you can control the gradle build using plugins you can create plugins and you can put this into a different class let's try putting this into a different class and then using it cut this i'll create a new file called uh, plugin.gradle and let's put the youtube plugin there so we have put this now now if i run this particular build.gradle this is going to throw me an error because the youtube plugin is not identified because we have removed that from this particular file right because this gradle w doesn't know there is a file called plugin.gradle so it fails see this right it fails so how do we manage to get that we can say apply from 
and say colon what is the file name plugin.gradle we need to move the apply options what we can do is we can move all these options onto the plugin.gradle we can all move all these options here and we can have this neat and simple so that way you don't have to see the plugin code if you have only one project but you can put it into a distribution and distribute it via the gradle plugin when you have multiple projects so see this right i'm just saying apply from and then another gradle file that just imports that file in here so plugin.gradle is now identified as a gradle file as well because we have the apply plugin here so this is how you can create a plugin and you can access or control the plugin using tasks and plugin extensions so what we saw was how to create a plugin so in order to create a plugin we need to implement the interface plugin project project is our current project which we have which is nothing but the build.gradle we should be overriding the method called apply which gets the project model from the project model we can use the task option to create a task uh, in this particular case we have uh, two tasks one called play one called pass using the plugin extensions we can create a class or a model and then use that model to communicate between the plugin and the project so that is what we have done here project.extensions.create we have created a features uh, extension inside the youtube plugin and we are assigning three different variables feature name length and tags those are getting printed as a part of a task called play and inside the main build.gradle or inside the project we can directly provide the features in this particular format we can directly assign it as features dot feature name or we can use closures you say features and then open brace and close base and then you can just provide the key value pass this is how you can create custom plugins in gradle i hope you guys understood how to create custom plugins in gradle do let me know if you want me to make any other specific video on gradle i can do that that's it for this particular video hope you found it interesting if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much